Meow. Hello, this is your captain speaking, and welcome to Life, the Universe, and Everything, your daily stream of consciousness resource. I'm okay. That's I'm Iceman. Man. I'm Matt. I'm Pyrocyniac, whatever. Pyrocyniac, whatever. I like that. <laughs> yeah, Pyrocyniac, yeah, whatever. whatever. Got it. That yes. Doesn't matter. He's new to this series, but he's not new to <gasps> by anything what? else. He's. Wait, 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 wait. I just, I just clicked tab and I just realized it shows our faces next to our names. Mm -hmm. When did they implement that? That's amazing. It is cool. I'm not sure when they did I that. love that. That's quite a while I've ago. I've never seen that. That's awesome. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, no. to what we talk. Oh, yes. Today, we're talking about um, evil things. Mobile phone encryption versus the US government. Yeah. General upshot is Apple and Google have both announced that in the next versions of their mobile operating system, all information is encrypted by default. And the FBI really doesn't like this because they say that it will get rid in the way of law enforcement efforts because they won't be able to hack people's phones. <laughs> Won't go. Won't go yeah. Here. So basically Ooh, blatantly saying they want to steal information. Well, it's not just that simple. Uh, if you got, get go look at it from a law enforcement perspective, say that there's there there's reasons for it. No yeah, doubt. like there are valid reasons. I I can kind of agree. Uh, with. But but it is there, blatantly there saying we're, we want to spy on you. Okay, no no no. But here's the thing: it's not that they want to spy on you. It's just in most cases, if there is something like where they suspect someone of doing something, they want to be able to look into it and with them doing with apple and google doing this they can still do that they just need a warrant well which is not sense not exactly at least i'm not sure about what google's said i don't think they've clarified it yet but at least from apple's side they've said that they're going to encrypt it in a way that apple themselves will have no way of accessing it yes so that is the case i don't know how you can encrypt something like you design it encryption and then not be able to figure out what that is. I do, like that's saying like you're gonna make a program, but you're not gonna know how to use the program at all. I think the method of encryption stays the same, but the key that unlocks everything is going to be randomly generated and unique to the device specifically. Or maybe there's always gonna be a way to f solve it. Like it doesn't even matter if Apple makes this 100% like unencryptable, quote unquote. Uh, like part of the phone, it, it someone's gonna be able to do it. You'd be surprised how powerful encryption is. You'd be surprised how dedicated some individuals are. <laughs> it, it's it's not a matter of dedication. It's in terms of raw processing power. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, these things are using numbers so massively I... colossal and so many different possibilities that. Even a supercomputer could chug away at it for thousands of years. I don't know the exact maths. <laughs> a very long period of time. But, yes. But how, how can you just, like, say that it's all right for them to be... Because there's a lot of cases where, th yes, privacy has been... Um, what's the word? Infringed upon? Yeah, infringed, thank you privacy of individuals have been infringed upon but then there's also been cases where it's like that's how they catch people and that's how they stop things from happening and i mean they there's always another means of them trying to figure out different things about people regardless of whether it's through their mobile phones or something else and everyone has a mobile phone nowadays so if you have something where like, if there's companies that are trying to make it so that no one can access the phone, including the law, like, I think it should be something where they can't access it unless they have a warrant or something like that, where mm -hmm. they have, like, a legitimate... Is, isn't that concern. current state of affairs, though? No, current state of affairs, I think it's not that. I think, I think it's... It probably depends by regionality, doesn't it? Local laws. Uh, maybe, but I know right now, and I think in general, it's just like if they want, if they find you suspicious, they can look into it without a warrant because it's government-regulated stuff, I guess, or something like that. 
Yeah, well, yeah the, the important thing to remember here is there are some very not nice people whose phones deserve to be hacked. And but possibly if, there are lives that could be saved if you were to hack them. But if you can get a warrant for it, then they'll be able to look into it anyways. Yeah. It just it prevents it from being misused as much. Yeah, and that's what I think they should be trying to go for it so that they're showing everyone, look, we, we know we kind of, like, we don't want to look into everything about your life, just the stuff if we think we're suspicious of it. The, the, the problem with that, though, is governments will always have the power to um, look into your personal files and access them and violate your privacy, and the only thing stopping them in that situation is your faith in the government and the goodwill and trust of your own government, which is great in theory until Edward Snowden comes along and reveals that the NSA is just collecting metadata on everyone and telephone records and all sorts of things that people, many people, regard as a clear violation of privacy. So it almost feels like Apple and Google taking away the FBI's favorite toy because the US government's proved that they can't be trusted with that access. Yeah. It, it doesn't seem like it's regulated as well as it should be. It, it doesn't seem it's, like it's regulated at all. At all, yeah. Uh, no, I think it needs to be kind of like you can't just go into someone's house and search for stuff. You need to be able you need to have a uh, permission, which is a warrant. A warrant. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. Why, so, why, why shouldn't it be the same thing? You know, mm -hmm. someone can, I don't know, write down some sort of information on a piece of paper and store that in a desk in their house, and we can't. The problem is the that. current, the current state of affairs. You know, you've got secret courts in the U.S. government who sign warrants that nobody in the public has access to or even the knowledge of, and these single warrants can allow. Uh, can affect large bands of people. So you don't need individual warrants. You can say, this warrant allows every person in this city to have their phone and files hacked if we think there's any reason at all, regardless of how flimsy it is. And that, that just brings up an, uh, an, an ethics conversation. Or, yeah, eth ethics, because we're wondering if, uh, can we just... Okay, how open should the police force be? Should they should we be allowed to see everything they're doing? Because, you know, if we can, then sure, that's great that they have nothing to hide. But sometimes they need to, ha to be able to hide that sensitive information for public protection. Yes, and I, I know we're talking about cross-purposes because that FBI isn't the NSA. But NSA straight out lied to Congress. You know, the great big government body of people who were elected by the people, supposed to be representing the people, they were flat out lied to. So if you're not uh, accountable to the democratically elected portion of your government, then you're, you really have no place within a democratic government. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Honestly, the, the democratic portion of a government should be accountable to its citizens and every other part of the government should be accountable to the democratically elected part. That's why we have well, a representative a government world. in the first place. Precisely. But so, it doesn't always happen. <laughs> when you've got some yeah, some security agency in the middle which is not accountable to anyone. No one seems to know what's going on. No one seems to have the power to do anything about it or get rid of it or even curb its powers. Yes, Snowden caused a bit of unrest, but that's gone away in the large part. A lot more complacency than there was a year ago. Yeah, a lot of people are just kind of forgetting about it almost. So it doesn't really matter too much. Anymore. Then again, that happens with like all media, does it not? Yeah, I suppose that Unfor is. An unfortunate fact, but. Yeah, it's. The unfortunate bit here is that he took those actions, he leaked the information with the hopes of affecting some changes, which unfortunately doesn't really seem to be happening. Where 
quite a bit of time on and the situation is basically the same. Mm -hmm. By the way, yes. Yeah, if anyone wants to come help me at any point, dig this space is out. Is there any coal down there? Uh, I've ooh, got a stack of coal if you want some. Mm. Where are you? I'm coming down. Bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the entrance. Is this uh, big enough for a storage room? Uh, almost. I'm planning to... I don't know. Myself, but uh, that's nine cool. I thought okay, that was eight actually. Okay. Oh, okay, that's what I guess then. But I'm planning to dig another two up and one down, probably. Two up and wait, one down, yeah, to replace the floor. Okay, oh, to replace the floor, oh, okay, because I'm and going then... to I'm going to try to link up that entrance down to here then. Yeah, so it's going to be at this height. Um, do you know where the middle is? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's an odd number of blocks. I'm pretty sure that it's in line with the staircase, at least in one axis. Uh, oh, okay. I'll figure it out. Anyway, someone say something about... <laughs> encryption. encryption. Well, I don't know. I think it's there really is no right and wrong answer to this, because if we have uh, a high amount of encryption, you know, then the, uh, the people who... I think there's situations um, we need to get right back. Okay. Oh, he's running away. Should <laughs> just I continue keep going. on my? Yeah, just keep going. He has okay. a brain still. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, there's there's situations we need to see this very sensitive uh, uh, information. Like if there's a, a terrorist or something, like just a mm -hmm. crazy example. Um, then we will need to see that that stuff. I don't think it's that crazy of an example though. Because I think that's a general threat, especially with, like, say, groups like ISIS and even just attacks like 9-11 and everything. I know they always bring those single attacks up just because they're so extreme. Well, crazy was but... the wrong word. I meant I meant an extreme example. Oh, okay. But, see, I have a little bit of bias towards this as well, though, because I'm looking into it, going into the field of, like, forensics and everything, where to access someone's mobile phone, especially if you're looking into, say terrorist or something like just general a general threat and you suspect them of that general threat as a forensics person either analyst like d regardless of what field you just want to be able to have access to some type of information where you're going to be able to solve something and while that is violating their privacy i'm sure there's a lot of people it, well if it was like they stop, say, a terrorist attack someone, You would they not be okay with that? Like, mm -hmm. You would rather have your rights infringed so that they can stop a potential threat coming to your like doorstep, basically. Then again, I'm not sure that a huge issue is the fact that they're actually necessarily looking into your privacy. It's just like, uh, the fact like the uh, like the stuff with the NSA, like if they if they end up leaking any of the information, like there is a possibility once you start looking into people's stuff, if you leak any of it as well, then that becomes a huge issue. It's yeah, even that's, bigger. Uh, that's, that's with, with, with leaks, security. that's not so focused on the actual like. If there's an encryption, it's gonna stop leaks. But I'm sure, but there's leaks from just general people. Like mm -hmm. people leak things themselves. And no, I but I mean like le uh, leaks that occur from leaks from, uh, PO from violating that privacy. I, That's where I could see issues arising. And there, there are cases reported in the middle of the Snowden leaks with um, individuals, you know, hacking into the email accounts of, you know, their spouses or their exes or. Yeah, various people who they had no. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> what the stuff I put in the furnace? <laughs> I'm cooking gold. <laughs> gold. Do you have any more coal? I've oh, got no some. coal. <laughs> that was all of it. <laughs> Just make some charcoal. Jerk. <laughs> Sorry, did I interrupt you? You jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you feel better. I have coal now. It doesn't. Thanks. 
But yeah, it looks like there's not a huge amount the FBI is going to do with it. I mean, no one's really going to stand around and let the US government outlaw encrypting things. Especially if the reason given is, oh, it's so that we can hack it. <laughs> there might be situations in which it's a good idea, but well, it's never going to happen. Yeah. They, the problem, uh, which is what I was saying when you were gone, was that there, there, there are going to be situations when you just see these things. Like, could we just theoretically have some sort of warrant where we force people, like this is the other there, force people to go into their own files uh, and extract the evidence for the police? Is that is that possible or? Well, that's basically that's basically. But then they could delete the, that, if, if they could just delete the information while they're doing that. Then yeah, that, that is the, the risk. It's not a, like, it's not and, and if you were a terrorist of any kind, you just say, "Okay, I'll do that for you." Delete all the uh, the bad like the information that they want, and then just give them a blank hard drive. Well, yeah, the, easy, the easiest that's... way to do that is take their phone, right, and then say, "Hey, you, give me the passcode." That's basically. What you're talking about? But then, yeah, that's so, but the then problem. You're infringing upon in different rights there. That's yeah. like. Well, could just... you? Well, you could, you could say that's. Um... Well, how's that any different to what Spyro was suggesting? Well, what I'm saying is that they could, uh, if they don't, then wouldn't that be uh, holding back evidence from the police, which is a, a federal offense? Well, yeah, but you can do that already. Yeah, that's that's the problem. Yeah, but the thing is, if they're not going to. Give you that information, then what you can do? Lock, what can you do? Lock them up. Yeah, put yeah. more people in prison. That's just what you need. <laughs> I don't think we have enough people in prison yet. No, we need to no. fill more. Fill more prisons. More taxpayers' money put into prison stuff. Prisons work, you know. What? Prisons are really effective. They are actually at really effective. doing things. But that's the point. What's the point? They're of effective in protecting criminals, and us paying for the protection of. Well, it, it it seems to be that the point of a prison prison is to punish people, and really, if you think about it, that shouldn't really be the focus of a justice system, should it? It should be, you know, turning people into contributing members of society. So rehabilitation is what you say. Well, Rehabilitation and education. Mm -hmm. There might be some cases but, where, I mean, if they're so totally aggressive and crazy that there's nothing you can do for them at prison, then they should probably be in a insane asylum, shouldn't they? If there's no chance of rehabilitating them in any way whatsoever. Well, the only thing is then you're putting. The only problem with that is that. You're gonna have like you're gonna have to turn the insane asylums into prisons. Like they will be prisons. They will not be insane asylums. They will be prisons, and that's what prisons are. Is for the really psychotic people. But then also, not only just the psychotic people, but also the people. See, the only bad thing with rehabilitating is that you can always just fake rehabilitation. There's mm -hmm. no solid way to actually rehabilitate someone a hundred percent because there's it's easy, it's really easy to go back into a life of crime where you had it so good, and just, you've been already let out. Are you, you speaking from say, experience? Oh, um, no. Okay, <laughs> just wondering. I, I'd but, just like to point out that we are digressing here slightly. No. Yeah, this is a very my fault, so large out. tangent. Tangents! We should talk about prisons sometime. <laughs> yes, we should. Yeah, the prison life And also the death penalty. Oh, I'd love to talk I've about that. I've been through that. Not a good thing. No, no, no. no. Okay, let's not make. You, you really <laughs> got to start drawing a line of when it's appropriate for Matt to make fun of things. I I want to talk about the death penalty. Something. Right now. Right now. I know. Right now we're talking about encryption. Let's let's just digress to a whole new subject. Let's just finish encryption. Anyone got anything left to say on encryption? Um, it's good and bad at the same time because. I think. Uh, sorry. Continue, because <laughs> it's I good. didn't realize you were going on to because. <laughs> it's good because uh, we get we get privacy. It, it will help decrease uh, cybercrime and possibly hacking. Uh, mm -hmm. 
things, but then we have those times when we do actually need to see the sensitive information. So I really don't believe there's a right or wrong answer yeah. as to whether encryption is a good thing or not. Yeah, there's definitely situations for both sides, but it looks like it's happening and there's not much the US can do about it. Pretty much, yeah. My personal opinion is that it shouldn't happen in encryption. Well, it maybe it should, but I think it shouldn't be undecipherable or anything. Like it should be able to be. Then what's the point into, of encryption? But that's not encrypted. Well, but anymore. it's in, it's encryption based on like maybe only Apple's able to unencrypt it, or only Google has the capability. And if the government wants to look into it, they're gonna have to go and give them that warrant or something like we like with the warrants again. That's, that's but, a good point. Well, the problem is, what yeah, if somebody wants to snoop want... into your stuff and they they work at Apple or something? Mm -hmm. they, they can and just especially go in. since Google's entire business model is based off finding off about as as much about you as possible, so that they can target the best ads at you and make money. Yep. Um, I just want to kind of touch on what uh, Pyro said there. Is that like, what if someone from Apple wants to look into it? What's stopping anyone from Apple right now with after they do the encryption from going into it? Even if it's randomly generated, whoever's programming that thing can make a backdoor into it for themselves. Like you could become someone who makes millions of dollars from being able to say to the go government behind yeah. closed doors, "I programmed it." Whoa! What happened there? there. Hmm? What? A creeper just sprinted at me. Oh, that was the most terrifying um, thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, did you have a second of lag and then he just ran? <laughs> and then he just ran straight back. I'll be right back, guys. Hold on. Okay. From. Wait, did he finish his point? I don't know. <laughs> I might have interrupted him screaming out because of a creeper there. We're going to assume he finished. Uh, so, Matt, any final closing things? I have. I, the, I agree there's not necessarily a right or wrong answer, but I think. What did I just get hit by? Oh, um, sorry, distracted. Um, but I believe more or less what Matt is saying. I think that would be better if the company that creates it has uh, a way of undoing the uh, encryption or some way to undo it. Yes, it's. No, I'm not sure if it's possible, but that would be the ideal situation, I think, because okay. then the government would have to go to the company and show a warrant that is... That is um, uh, not just a bunch of bogus. And I have to say that I disagree because I don't trust Apple or Google at all. Yeah, yeah, no, no I, I don't necessarily trust them either. But uh, then again, before this encryption, they could just access the files anyways. So at least this gives you possibility that the government won't as well as Apple and Google. I'm sorry, I just came back. What are we? What, what is uh, the just on? extending on your point. Oh, okay. <laughs> he agrees with you, I disagree with you. Yes! You're wrong. Oh. I continue to be indifferent. Mm -hmm. High five, Matt. I'll give you a carrot. High five! Indifferent? Why do we bring you along? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no, no, no. You have to choose a side. That's the rule of this. <laughs> you have to choose a side? Really? Yeah. Yeah. You, no, Why must oh, I choose no, a side? You can, you can be flippy floppy if you want. No. no. Flippy floppy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, apparently you can't. <laughs> wow, okay. This has now turned into a dictatorship where yeah. all me and Matt's opinion matter. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> what were you expecting? There should be another the topic of rule the world. And Canada rules the world. <laughs> um, you guys never heard that song? Nope. No. I have, yes. <laughs> anyway. So... Did anyone touch on the point of where I was talking about how, like, I know you guys said you touched on it, but I didn't really get to finish the thought of it, mm -hmm. of someone just simply making, say, like, a black market in Apple, just because I, they I know have, how I to... highly doubt that a, a single person could get away with that. I don't know what Apple's structure is like for design elements, but I doubt one person would be able to put in a major backdoor and then not have anyone else notice it well but like i don't i don't know how big these programming teams are i imagine they're fairly large especially seeing as apple's such a large company but there's always ways of just getting a single person like the government could easily just pay off someone in apple like even a group of people because i'm money unfortunately a lot of people are greedy 
Really? And when there's m yeah, no, <laughs> Whoa. big surprise. Um, um, wait, what's that for? Hot topic. Construct it. Oh. That's for making a furnace. Man, really how do I distract you? The like point of typing is so I don't distract you. I didn't. I mean, it doesn't like, work just... that way. <laughs> um, you have to respond to it. <laughs> yeah, that's what the point of. <laughs> well, I hate you. By the yeah, way, who's made the off with all the lapis? Oh, not me. I need to enchant. <laughs> um, I needed it. I need um, three pieces of lapis. I, no, 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 no! Don't break it! Don't break it! Don't break it! Don't break it! I need. Wait, I have it on me. Can I finish? <laughs> it... All right. But I wanted to say. I need three, please. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, You're so generous. Stick, stick, stick. No, you took my sticks! No! <laughs> uh, for goodness sake. Yeah, have two extras. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, back on topic. Or we should wrap this was... up. Yeah, okay. It, yeah, been I, this is sitting at 30 minutes for me, almost. Oh, jeez. Okay. I think we've... So, yeah, Kasha, what's the topic? Um, so, anyways, general final comment thing. I already gave him. No, 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 you gotta do it again. <laughs> oh. What? What's that? <laughs> That's a rule. I should give well, my okay, well, what I don't. I, 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 am, I see both positives and negatives to the situation. Okay, Marco? I think encryption is generally a good thing, and there are probably other ways to find most of the information that is going to be hidden. Matt? Plus, any of the really I think serious encryption crime, can be a good thing. But I think there's a better way to go about this, like maybe making a company have a way to undo it. Not necessarily that is the correct way to do it, but somebody smarter than me will figure out the correct way. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I agree with what Matt said, except I, I think there's just ways around the encryption uh, controversy, and that's what he's saying basically. So by my tally, that means me and Matt win. Yep, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Case closed. Is... All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is my series. Remember, guys. <laughs> we can go make our own. <laughs> I'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.